I'm here today at the Yankee Peddler Festival in Canal Fulton. It's an outdoor art festival that's been going on for, I don't know, I, <laughs> I don't really want to count the number of years, but I've been coming here since I was 12 years old. And I believe that they had the show a few years even before I was um, coming. Um, my mom and dad had a friend who were artisans and invited us, and that's how we started coming here. But anyways, I'm going to take you along for the ride. I hope you enjoy it. It's my favorite. If you want to venture this way to Ohio and visit it, it's a great time for the whole family. Um, they even they accommodate bus tours and things like that if um, you know anybody has a travel company that's interested in doing something like that. It's a cool thing. So join me. They have butterfly chrysalises here, and I have bought these for my children when they were little. And you keep them and they hatch, and then once the butterflies hatch, you release them into the wild. It's really pretty cool, and it's, it's a lot of fun for the kids. They have all kinds of wonderful artisans and crafters, great things to... <laughs> Place to spend a lot of money <laughs> but I love it look at all this great stuff over here for Halloween I have to come back over here and spend I'm actually on my way right now to meet my sister because she also comes every year like I do and it's kind of a nice little family event a beautiful lake over there during the summer this is a campground and um, they have festivals and things here other than this it's very nice they have shows for the children so it's definitely a family oriented um, activity like right now over here is a puppet show let me see if I can zoom in a little bit I just love it though. I love the smells, I love the sounds. It's just fabulous. It's my favorite place to be in the fall. There we go. Um, we're coming up on the troll bridge. Oh, and they do have a troll today. Sometimes they have a troll and sometimes they don't have a troll. But this is fun, the kids like this too. I'm gonna go over here and see the troll. Fun. So this is another area, lots of vendors over here. I think the guy's missing out over there though. It should be who's that trip trapping over my bridge, right? <laughs> This is a little food area over here. They used to have the best 
cream chicken and biscuits. They still have it there and it's still pretty good. Um, but years ago they had another group that was doing it. And oh my gosh, it was to die for. And then that's another section up there. There's lots of food up in that section. And try not to swing too fast for you guys. It's heading across the bridge into yet another section. So this is my favorite candle company. They make soy candles, and their candles, the smell lasts forever. I come here every year, and I buy three or four candles, mostly fall-related candles, and they last throughout the season, and then I come back the next year and I buy some more. They're awesome, and they do mail order, so if anybody's interested, you can order them. <laughs> But they're awesome. I'll put their information below. And this is a wonderful booth full of great um, fiber art. I just love it. I like the fish. Isn't that wonderful? I've dabbled in felting myself, but it's not something I've do very often. It's very, it's time consuming and it requires a lot of talent. And she has talent in spades. How cute. I love those spider web shawls. Oh those fish are so cool. Are the fish new this year? Yeah. They're really cute. I just like made a bet with myself two weeks ago. I wonder if I can make fish. <laughs> and you got that many done in that amount of time? They, yeah, they're pretty quick if you do it like an assembly line, I guess. Um, it takes time for everything to dry in between. Um, Look at this fish. Getting them down to the size that you want and then eyeballs. Oh my so. gosh, they're awesome. And I love the scarves. I'm always looking at the scarves. The scarves are very cool. I don't know if I made any new ones this year. Do you mind if I film you? No, <laughs> you can't. <laughs> that and gross. Stop. I was trying to Do make what um, a base for the little cactuses here. Oh, okay. So we start off with white. It keeps the cost down. And then I'll take a brown over top of it. Those are cute. I love this little guy that's sitting here. Oh, yeah. He needs a... Look at how cute. He's a sloth. He just needs a... A leg? <laughs> no, he no, has he two needs, legs. He has, he has all four legs. He needs his um his branch. I usually have... Oh, a, okay. I have corkscrew willow at home, and that's the branches I use. Uh -huh. I just didn't bring any. Oh, very nice. Thank you for letting me film in here. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Here's more great places to eat. That place has wonderful Reuben sandwiches. Love them. And then we have some reenactment and stuff going on over here. And then over there we've got more places to eat. And there's even more, um, there's even more booths and stuff way up there that we're gonna go see. More food booths over there. You can come in here and make your own wristband. That's kind of cool. This leather stuff. And there's a little petting zoo over here. And the kids can come over here and they can ride a pony. I don't want to film people's children, but there's a pony thing over there that they can come and ride the pony. Here, little guys. Hey, guys. So, I'm going to get myself a pair of slippers. Every two years I get a pair of slippers from these guys because that's how long they last on my feet because I wear them all the time. They're wonderful. And then over here we've got musicians playing. And that's the other side of that um, troll bridge. It's real pretty today. I'm sorry if I'm swinging too fast. Let's 
go try on some slippers. I know. I know. <laughs> These are the best slippers in the whole world. I love them. Doing this one-handed. Oops, there's stuff in my slippers. Uh, those are nice. I think that's the right size. So I hope you enjoyed my little trip to Yankee Peddler Festival. And it happens every year, the three weekends following Labor Day weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. It's great to shop it, as you can see, but also if you're an artist, it's a wonderful place to set up and sell your wares. Um, if you're interested, I will put the information below, but of course you can always Google Yankee Peddler Festival for more information. Thanks for joining me today, guys. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and share with other people. Thanks.